Okay, let's move on to our last lecture, uh, or the last part of our lecture, and that's using the number of pounds required to print a job to estimate the price for quantities of ink. This section should be much easier than the last section. Um, if you are having difficulty with it, please don't be afraid to come and talk to me about it. But the basic formula we're going to use is the number of pounds of ink that you calculated in the previous section. We're going to multiply that by the price for every one pound of ink to get the total cost of the ink. So, if we were to quickly do the problem here, how much will the following ink cost? We have 20 pounds of cyan, which these are the same examples from the, the previous part of the slideshow, so they should all line up. We calculated earlier that we needed 20 pounds of cyan. If we were going to purchase that, and the ink company told us it cost $1.80 per pound, we can multiply 20 times 180 to get the total price of ink. So to convert these formulas here into actual formulas that we can calculate, we can multiply 20 times 180, 61 times 211 per pound, because that's the value that was given to us. We're not going to make these values up. We have to find out how much paper, um, how much ink actually costs. And when we carry them across, we should calculate that cyan will cost us $36, magenta will cost us $128.71, yellow will cost us $116.58, and black will cost us $16.90. Now, make sure that when you're doing your homework, if it asks you how much the total ink will cost, the answer will be $298.19. If it asks you for individual prices, you would have to list the individual answers. I would like to point out that the reason that we do this is we calculated cost centers and BHRs in previous lectures, and those were run costs, right? So we would charge them as an hourly rate to a customer, but I said there's other costs that you would bill depending on how much the customer uses, like paper and ink. We would add these costs to the run cost to get a total cost for the printing job. And that's what we're aiming to do. The very last week of the, section, uh, of the semester, there's a lecture on putting it all together, and we're going to assemble everything we've done, starting with cost centers, to calculate the total price of a printing job. Okay, let's try one more example. How much will the following inks cost? Push pause on your video, try the problems, and when you're done, push play to see the answer. If you get them all correct, you can move on to this week's homework and quiz. If you do not get them right, please go back and review the material, and if you're still having difficulty, please come visit me during my office hours, talk to me during my online chat hours, or come to class on Thursdays, which are usually optional for extra help. Um, even if you're in the online version of the class, um, please feel free to come on Thursdays. I'd be more than willing to help you. Okay, so let's go through the answer. You should have gotten, we need $0 to buy cyan because we're not purchasing any cyan ink. Magenta will cost us $34.85. Yellow will cost us $62.90. And black will cost $55.86. If I was asking for the total for all of the inks, the total price would be $153.61. If you got those answers correct, please move on to the homework and quiz this week. There is only one homework and one quiz. Um, there are no extra assignments or extra credit. Um, it's just back to the basic homework and quiz.